about change is letting go of the past. You see, who you were only six months ago, it's not who you are today. We need to use our past to remind us and not to define us. On Google, you don't have to walk across the hall and ask the guy across the way who has 50 years of experience. Just ask Google. And so what happens then is we take short-term gratification over long-term results. We tend to value ideas and solutions over people. And so I think the best leaders today are be the ones who can keep that in mind, who know that it's not only just short-term results, but we can manage the long-term relationships and the long-term gain. They say when you have stress in your life, you tend to make a lot more mistakes. So has anyone here ever made a mistake before? Okay, and how many of you are still putting them through college? Everyone in this room, you have people in your lives who are consistently wearing you down. Some of you wake up next to them. in our work, create 90% of the effort and stress, and it wears us down. Here's why. You only have a certain number of hours in a day. If you work, you have families, you have children. Sometimes we just have to know there is no such thing as balance. We will always feel guilty. We are spending more time at work. We're spending more time at home. We will always feel torn. But I think it's all about it, taking care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself, you can't possibly help and support the people around us, our family. in one day than men do. 13,000. So you walk into one of your meetings with a group of mostly male construction managers. You know, it's about noon. They've used up all of their words. <laughs> you have 13,000 more words to go. Have you had the experience of flow where you show up for work and you work hard, you're diligent, you're passionate, and you're purposeful, and it feels so good to do your job? Do you have those days? Somebody a job, you give them a purpose. I'm not here for your job. It doesn't matter what that job is. You give me a place to go, you give me a reason to get up in the morning, you give me customers to serve, people, you give me negotiation skills, conflict management, you teach me how to lead. You show me how to serve customers to sell. You're not giving me a job, you're giving me a purpose. Always let your purpose guide you. And I, I do all this work. It, it doesn't matter who's right or wrong. What matters is what's best for the people who are involved, what's best for our team, what's best for our community right now. That's all that matters. Do not use PowerPoint. And so instead what I want to do is share with you some analogies that are pictures that I hope will then allow you to remember it a little bit better. So um, is there anyone in this room who is a hoarder? Different levels that we could be at um, so that you can see how you would manage your own motivation through each of the different levels. You can also use this if you are on a team and you notice your team in terms of culture or individuals, uh, where do they stand? We start off with a survival mode, which is a very basic getting by mode. And then we move our way up to higher level purpose and meaning. As a result, there are three things that we need to remember to help us to influence people. And then understand that especially if you're trying to compel people towards change, different people embrace change differently. Difficult, and so you married him. <laughs> Right, and then all the while you thought, I'm gonna change him. I found it a whole lot better if all you do is you just accept people for who they are. 
and then pretend they're someone else. The slow learners. Today, you will flood your brain with endorphins, dopamine, serotonin, which has been shown to help you recall information faster, hold on to it longer, use it more readily. If you're willing to laugh today with your colleagues, you will see that if you want to wake up every morning and love your job, you have to find a way to make it fun. If you're willing to laugh, We all have incredible stories that tie us together. You're here for a bigger purpose than just a paycheck. You're here because you know that the work you do is making a difference. Jody rocked the house. She made us laugh. She made us cry. She gave us real solid concepts to grasp. And most importantly, for speaking personally, she left me totally fired up and inspired.